This is Audrey. <laughs> this is our mullen plant that I rescued a couple of years ago. That I only come out near when she's here cause I don't want to be eaten by Audrey three. <laughs> So this particular mullen plant is Verbascum thapsus. It is a common mullen, and it is typically only grows like two to seven feet tall. Mr. Sweet, you measured this. How tall did it get? Eight feet, nine inches. So it's very much well past time. Now it's summertime, and that means it is the flowers see the flowers are blooming to show you the height to show you how tall this is and um there's mr sweet is standing on a step stool and audrey is still taller than he is this is audrey three anybody know why we call this plant audrey three leave a comment below and share why we named this audrey three Feed me see so the reason that we are harvesting in July is because it's the flowers that we want to harvest today. To harvest the leaves, we typically harvest the mullen leaves in their first year. Uh, mullen is a biennial plant, so Audrey probably will not make it with us through to next year. However, they do leave lots of seeds and she might have left us some babies behind. We'll have to wait and see. But today we're going to harvest the flowers. It's a hot morning. It's kind of early. I say kind of early. Early would have been 6 a.m. It's about 8.30 here. So it's still warm. It's still muggy, which is why we're going ahead and getting out here today. But it's the beautiful yellow flowers that we want to harvest. So we want to harvest the part of the plant that it, the plant is giving the most energy to. And it's doing all these beautiful little yellow flowers. And so that's what we want to harvest and the flowers are great for ear issues and for skin. I am going to make um, take these flowers and make them infuse them in an oil for a topical and also I'm going to put it into a salve for with uh, I think I'm going to blend it with some calendula that I've already infused and blend it together for a skin topical as well as bottling some up for like an ear oil. I made some last year. I think we've run out of that. So that's on the plan for today. We also want to harvest some oregano and some rosemary. Uh, my basil is bolting, so I need to snip that back and just lots of things to do today. Oh, look at those flowers falling off, just falling. And I'm gonna pull the flowers. And every morning when it's nice and cool, I've been looking out my kitchen window and watching the bees come and pollinate these beautiful flowers. Oh my gosh, Audrey, I cannot believe how tall you are. Big and strong. Yeah, Mr. Sweet is gonna probably have to finish this chore for me. <laughs> I can bend it over, but as I do, the little flowers are falling off. Um, we can grab some of these that have fallen that are freshly fallen off the leaves. You can tell some of them have been sitting there a while though, and I don't want those. We want them as fresh as possible that have just fallen off. The bees are gonna be wondering where their food went. Golly, it's already hot out here. The temperature is not hot. <laughs> the humidity is up. It's like wearing a coat in the summertime. It's not warm and, and cozy, it's hot and muggy. All right, so Mr. Sweet, he's taller than me. I really dig the boots. Yeah, I love my boots. Love my boots. So Audrey, my mullen plant, is almost two feet taller than what they tell us the common mullen plant reaches, which is why we are having to get the step stool to harvest 
this plant. And there are some on the other side yep. that Mr. Sweet might be able to reach that I have not been able to reach. So as you notice, the, the mullen plant down low, the leaves are nice and long. They've got this curly look to them. During their first year, they didn't have that look. And so we can see that Sweet Audrey's looking a little bedraggled here as she's growing older. But what I may do is see these small leaves, even though the the plant is putting most of its energy into the flowers right now, it's still growing, it still has new growth. And so these baby mullen leaves, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna tincture these up because these are great for respiratory health. Oh, got some nice ones down in here. Sweet you only want leaves. mature flowers, right? Um, mature or almost mature, yeah. Okay, so Mr. Sweet, what did you think about Audrey when I first put her out here? It looked like a piece of crab crabgrass. Crabgrass? It looked like crab. When you were sitting there complaining about it getting mowed down all the time, it looked like a piece of crabgrass that you were trying to save. <laughs> hey, that's what it looked like to me. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to turn into a space alien. <sighs> oh, look, there's a, it looks like this right here is going to make a new stalk, a new flower stalk. Nice. So Audrey is still giving us lots of life. The roots can also be used. So we can use the flower, we can use the stem, the stalk, and the leaves, but we typically want to harvest the leaves the first year. Um, but I'm getting these babies. I think thus they're still gonna be really good. And we can also harvest the roots when they're first year, but that means pull those planes are really interrupting my filming. Last week, I spent the week we had, oh, yeah. I worked for, the, for a utility company and was working on the side of the road with a lot of road tractors, dump trucks and the like going by. And I came home one, e one evening, we were working very long days and told my lady that uh, <laughs> I just didn't feel good. I thought I was dehydrated, but I had done my best to drink all I could. And she determined that I was, it was respiratory. And I went, oh yeah, we got a lot of trucks going by and the exhaust is horrible. We were actually working in uh, manholes. So we have gas detectors in the manhole that lets us know if there's anything dangerous in there. And they kept going off from the trucks going by because oh. they we have blowers going to put fresh air in, but they, of course, they're picking the fresh air up from the road, road stuff. So she gave me some of her mullen tincture or whatever it was. Yeah, mullen tincture. And I felt much better very, very quickly. I was very um, pleased with how much better I felt in a very short order. Sometimes I think she uses me for a guinea pig because I have no clue. <laughs> and then, so I don't, I'm like a walking placebo or a walking control group, I there guess. There you go. Like, control I group. I don't give you placebo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now that we have harvested the mullen flowers, those beautiful little yellow flowers, we're over here at my container garden where I have my oregano and rosemary. Now my oregano has started flowering, so I'm gonna cut those back and harvest some of the leaves. I'm gonna harvest some of the rosemary as well. We don't want the flowerings. We wanna get them before they flower. So I've gotta dig in here and start getting these. I've waited a little long. Let them go and start bolting. Oh, they smell, they smell amazing. Not 
A little, a little strong. Just means you need less of them. Yeah, they're starting to, they're a little, they're getting bitter. That's the thing is I really needed to have done this before. Well, you ain't been slacking off. No, in my defense, in case y'all don't already know this, um, I have been working on my iridology program, my Brilliant Health Weekend Away events that we hold two or three times a year. and a new herbology course that I am getting ready to release, the Common Sense Herbalist. It's a basic program that you can just learn some of the basics and then moving on to a new, um, deeper program in herbology for those who want to be like um, a clinical herbalist or um, things like that. So we're just gonna keep on moving. So. Because I've been writing so much, I haven't been out in my garden as much as I should have. And I can tell. But they're, the smell is amazing. So I think I have enough oregano for what I need. And I'm going to get some of this rosemary. Oh, my goodness, rosemary is amazing. No time. <laughs> you know what? I passed on the time last year. I should not have, but I did, and I regret that. So, oh yeah, I can do a nice little oil infusion for cooking um, with that. We got a tree growing there, Mr. Sweet. We're going to have to get that. Oh, and a tree right here, too. No trees. Sorry, can't have trees growing this close to the house. I need to tidy Can you get my... that leaf out? It's bothering me. No leaf. Thank you. You're welcome. Little leaf. Okay, yeah, that'll make a nice handful. Probably need to do a little bit more. Now, are you dehydrating these? I, I wasn't listening earlier. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dehydrate some of my rosemary and take some of my rosemary and put it in some, infuse it in some oil and take some of it and uh, tie it up and dry it uh, the old fashioned way instead of in a dehydrator. And then I'll have it for like spices for cooking So I got plenty of that, and there we go. So oregano is definitely a creeper, and this is just creeping everywhere. So here we are up in the vegetable garden where I have my basil this year, and we have some tomato plants and beans and things like that. This has not been quite the year that we expected it to be, but Mr. Sweet has been doing a really good job taking care of the garden. Let's check it out. Ooh, the tomatoes are looking good. My cherry tomatoes are quite prolific. There's, we're not getting a whole lot of ripening, but lots of cherry tomatoes. There's the ripe one, okay. All right, that's, that's kind of hard. All right, yeah, see, here's my basil, and it has begun to flower and bolt, which means that the leaves are gonna be bitter. Yay, okay. I should have been up here already. Lots of tomatoes here. We had a, all right. Looks like some jalapenos are ready to pick. And our pepper. We're getting small peppers, but those look pretty good. Something ate our broccoli. 
so upset. Something ate our broccoli. <laughs> but this guy is still hanging in there and growing, but And, oh, look, our watermelon. Got some flowers. Good job, good job. All right. Here we have some beans growing with some beautiful red flowers. Hopefully we'll start seeing some actual beans growing on these. And yeah, okay, I don't know. That looks like morning glory. This is curly dot. Oh, look, a praying mantis. There he is. We have a praying mantis on our curly dock. Yellow dock, curly dock, and other docks are great for cleansing toxins out of the body. They support the liver. And the curly dock grows these brownish seed-like grain like that's what I wanted to say and people will make flour out of this grain okay so here I'm just spreading my mullein flowers out on a, a tray uh, with paper towels on top and I'm putting paper towels over it just to keep them from blowing away we want to slightly have slightly wilted flowers before we put them and infuse them in our oils all right so I have washed my herbs that I harvested this morning and let them dry on this towel and now I'm just going to take and put them together in a twine in some this is actually not twine this is what is this called butcher string butcher string it's very versatile so I'm going to use that tie it together and we will let it hang dry for several days. So that's my rosemary. And so what we're gonna do is make sure I have enough string. See, I have enough string here to use for hanging. The oregano is going to be fairly easy as well to, to hang dry because I have very, very long stalks on that. Oh my goodness, my kitchen smells absolutely amazing, doesn't it, Mr. Sweet? Absolutely. Well, I was saying how great the kitchen smelled having all these fresh herbs in here. So I think we're going to make some, we've got some fresh peppers that we've just pulled out of our garden. So we are going to make um, some, what did I call it, pepper getty? Mm -hmm. <laughs> some pepper getty and let the, instead of using zucchini zoodles. Okay, I have done, I have started talking and forgot my pattern of what I was doing. So let me, let me concentrate again. Um, but we're going to, got plenty of, room for hanging. Now, the basil, that's gonna be fun because I didn't get quite as long stalks on that. And last year, I just let my basil air dry in a basket. And I actually have contemplated doing that again. This is still wet. Oh, and the reason what you want to let your uh, plants dry, you want to wash them and let them dry, is because you can have friends who move in. So we're going to see if we can get him to crawl into the jar and then we're going to take him outside.
<laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Sweet? Amusing myself. I figured as, as much. I figured as much. Okay, so we got the spider safely out. And you know what? I may have to do like two or three bunches of basil, don't you think? Uh, yeah. It smells so good. This is why last year when I um, harvested my basil, I left it in the basket because I had so much of it. Now, was these dry? Do you have to tighten the string up a little bit more? Sometimes they will fall out. That's why I was putting the the, um, the string under the arms. Oop, I left that guy out. We'll, we'll do something else with him. Okay, so now tying knots takes a lot of concentration, doesn't it, Mr. Sweet? <laughs> Not the middle one. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sweet. Mm -hmm. So now we're just going to leave these here to dry. There's my walking stick. Or is that your walking stick? It's really tall. Leave these here to dry for the next few weeks and we'll check on them and see how they're doing. And then we will use them to make either tinctures or cold oil infusions. All right, so the last herb that we are going to work with this, this day it's, is the mullen. Um, I need to dry these small leaves that I plucked and I could hang them dry like I did the other herbs, but I am going to put these in my dehydrator because I want to get these going as soon as possible in tincture form. Mullen leaves are so soft. And if you want to learn more about the doctrine of signatures and what small leaves or large leaf size or um, what the shape or texture of an herb means and how uh, you can choose your herbs based on what we call the doctrine of signatures. I have a course that I will have online. Um, probably it will already be out by the time this video comes out. So you can, I will drop a link to that in the comments below. All right, so we're putting the mullen in the dehydrator. We're going to let this sit for several hours. Mm -hmm. 